Welcome back. This is lesson nine of uh, session two of machine learning Zoom Camp, and we will talk about evaluating regression models. And we will talk about uh, one way of doing this, which is root mean squared error. And in the previous session, we trained our first model. It was a baseline model that used only numerical features. And then we plotted the predictions, we plotted the actual uh, values, and we saw that um, they are a bit off but we don't have a way to uh, quantify how bad the model is. And this is what we will do in, uh, in this lesson. So let me start with uh, writing a formula first. Um, and then we will decompose the formula and we'll try to make sense of this. So root mean squared error. First of all, this is uh, the difference between, so um, for each prediction that we have, so this g x i, this is the prediction we make for uh, x i. So this uh, prediction um, for x i, and then we have the actual value. So this is the actual value. So this is the actual value for uh, this observation i. So what we do is we take uh, the difference between them and then square this difference. So this is actually this uh, squared error part. And then what we do is we take the average um, of these uh, differences. So for that, we have a sum. A sum goes from one to M, where M is the number of different observations. And then we take an average for that and we take a square root. So now let's uh, let's decompose it. So this part here is uh, the square difference. So let me just uh, write it here. So this is the difference between the prediction and the actual value um, for like the actual price. So this is price, uh, price, and this is prediction. So imagine we have uh, an array with predictions. So this is our uh, y underscore pred. And we have some predictions, I don't know, 10, uh, 9, uh, 11, and so on. Right, so these are our predictions. Could be, uh, I get 10. And then we have the actual price. Then we have the actual price. So this is uh, our uh, Y train, right? And then the price could be a nine here, nine here, maybe 10.5 here, and then uh, perhaps 11.5 here, right? So these are predictions and these are the actual values. So what we do here is we uh, move it a bit. So what we do now here, is uh, we take the difference, so which gives us another uh, another uh, array with um, differences. So here the difference is one, here the difference is zero, here the difference is 0 0.5, and here the difference is minus 1.5. Right? And then what we do next, is we square this difference. So take this difference and square it. And for that, so for the square of one is one, the square of zero is zero, the square of 0 0.5 is 0 0.25, and the square of 1.5, 2.25, right? So we have that. So what we do next is, uh, let me just uh, write it one more time. So we have one, we have zero, we have uh, 0 0.25, two uh, point twenty five. So this is our square error. And now what we need to do is we need to take an average. So for us, the average is uh, one plus zero plus 0 0.25 plus 2.25 divided by 4. So we have uh, 0 0.8 uh, 
75. Right, so this is our mean squared error. And then finally, what we need to do is we take uh, this one and we take this, compute the square root of this, which is 0 0.93. So for this case, so if we have, if our predictions look like this and actual uh, prices look like that, then for just these four observations, this will be a root mean squared error. Yeah, let's, let's implement this. Let's implement this. So let me just uh, write the formula here one more time. Um, so first of all, it's again predictions, uh, the square difference between the predictions and the actual value. Then we have uh, the mean here, and then we have the square root. Yeah, let's call it uh, RMOC. So then we have uh, two values here. So first is y, the actual the actual values, and then we have uh, y pred, which is the, which are the predictions. So here we need to compute this uh, error, the difference between y and y pred. Then squared error would be this error uh, squared, right? And then once the error is squared, we can compute the mean. Actually, the mean. So we don't need to compute the sum and then divide it by the number of elements. In NumPy, we can uh, directly invoke the mean method. And uh, this will give us uh, mean squared error, right? And then to compute the root mean squared error, what we need to do is uh, compute the square root, right? And this is basically uh, what we return in the results. And uh, let's uh, use it. So we can use it for uh, this. Uh, so we already have uh, some predictions. And we can use it for us to evaluate the quality of this. And we can actually simplify this formula a little bit. So we don't need to have this error thing here. We can immediately square them, um, these errors. So maybe this looks a bit nicer. So we implemented the root mean squared error. And now uh, let's use it uh, on our validation set in the next lesson.